Right everybody, back to the Vauxhall Corsa. So I think I've finally cracked it. So I was sitting with the scan tool the other night there and uh, I mean, it's a good job this is my car. <laughs> I know anybody else, I've been at it for weeks. So I was watching, just watching the PIDs again because every time I cranked this over, when I had the scope on it, I was getting injection pulse. So in my mind that was near the computer, the computer because I definitely was, I was getting a spray part, well, I was getting the pulse to the injector, so it was doing that. So when I was looking at the scan tool, I noticed that uh, when I normally cranked it over and I disconnected all these injectors, when the thing was starting, when it kept starting to see a day, it was a, it was a good day, <laughs> if you can see that about a car. When I was cranking over, I was getting, the, the reading on the scan tool was nine. But when I was cranking it over and it was a bad day and it wasn't starting, I was only getting three. So I'm saying to myself, a reading of three, would it be grams or whatever from the air mass meter? So I'm saying to myself, what would cause that? So it was either two things or three things. It could either have been a faulty air mass meter or it could have been the EGR valve, which is just down there, was stuck open. But I took that, to bit, uh, I took that off and looked at it and it was opening and closing and you could bi-directionally do that on the scan tool. So the other thing I thought, maybe the throttle valve is sticking shut and indeed that is what it's been all along. So the throttle valve resides in there. So one time it didn't start, I just took the two screws out of the trunk in and I looked in and the throttle valve was shut. And I just pushed it with my finger and here it opened again. So here is it now, I've cleaned it up. You can see it's three bolts, three, uh, torch that hold it onto the inlet manifold. So in there it was full of, what do you call it, soot. So I've cleaned it all out. You can see now it's working. I mean, it was always working. It was always closing. See, I'm just putting 20 inches of mercury on it. And uh, this, this thing's only used to stop the car because, as everybody knows, the throttle valve is kept open on a diesel car. There's no need to regulate the amount of air it goes in. So there you go, it's opening okay now, but believe me, that was sticking. And so a diesel only needs what, is it three things. Clean diesel at the right pressure, good air, a good air intake, and it also needs a good exhaust to let the air back out. And obviously it needs to be timed up, but that has been my problem here. So I'll put it back together and hopefully this should start. But the other thing, I popped the top off of this. See in there where the mechanism is, so I put white grease, but I'm actually wondering if the spring mechanism is at the bottom here. But at least I know what the problem is now. And, uh, oh, that was painful. So, that's it. Uh, the car started every time now, so I think that has been the problem. So just a couple of things. You can see here that the air mass meter, uh, I'm saying grams, is kilograms an hour. So with the EGR valve shut, that's practically shut, we're getting 29, 30 kilograms an hour. So if I rev that, usually the EGR valve opens, comes back in. So there you go, it's open halfway, and you can see that reading is now well, dropping a little bit. It has dropped. So there we're at 30, 38% for EGR valve, now we're down to 1918. So, when I was, uh, going back to what I told you earlier on, when I was cranking this over, I was always just getting about a rate of one, two, maybe three. But what I'd done was I disconnected all the injectors when it was running good and I was getting a reading of nine when I was cranking it over. So I knew it had to be a breathing problem or an air intake problem. But I'll let you see this uh, working here. Uh, We'll customise it. Let me see, we'll select engine speed, so less view and air mass. So, what I'll do is I'll stop it. And you can always tell it was going to start if the thing hit 8 or 9 kilograms an hour. Any lower than that, and it would not start. So, there we go, put that off, key back on. So you can see that my, it's reading zero, so we'll crank it over. 
Oh, it must be sticking again, see that? And then it came back up. So I think I'm just going to get a throttle plate. So if the reading sees it stays at three, it will not start. Uh, I'll try it again. You can see the EGR is open, 39%. Again, shoots right up. So we'll keep doing that. We'll, we'll customize it. We'll just look at the the map sensor. So what we do here is we deselect all. I'm seeing the map sensor. The map sensor. We'll just less viewing that. If you do that, that updates the, the speed of the thing. There you go. That's actually quite good there. Mm. So that bit, oh, sorry about that. That bit there, that's when it's cranking over. So if we come back along to that, I bet it could do a bit. Of the, oh, there we go. So there you go. That's when it's cranking over. See that eight. And that's what I was saying. I wasn't getting eight. I was only getting. Well, you seen that? I was only getting three. So we'll let that run again. Yeah, we'll see that time. There we go. We're okay that time. Sometimes wonder if that EGR sticking as well. Because sometimes the symptoms was like a, a sticking EGR because it would start, it would try to start then stop. I mean the intake eh, chamber is bad. But let's try that again. You can hear the EGR valve opening. So what we could do here is we could customise that. So it's in here. So we can see the minimum uh, auto scale off. So we'll go max. Just go 10. Save that. Save it. Right, so you can see it's above the limit at the moment. So we can give us a better view. So we're back down to zero. See that? Only get to three, try again. And there you go, it's up this time. Off again. Starts that time. There you go, you can see that there. As soon as it hits eight, it's going to start. Let's see if that valve's sticking. Alright. Keep going. Keep going, son. That's it. Stop that again. Alright, that's it. That's me, right, that'll go. So the plate's still stick. Do that again, right? Oh. On. Oh. Oh. 